This giant killer was too fast for even a T-Rex to see coming. Imagine the late Cretaceous forest. A Tyrannosaurus rex has just made a kill. A massive Edmontosaurus lies on the forest floor. The king claims its prize, tearing into the carcass with bone-crushing jaws. The feast has begun, but something is watching. A shadow flits between the giant ferns. It's six feet tall, 17 feet long, covered in feathers. Its eyes are locked on the kiln. This is Dakota Raptor, a supersized raptor with a killer instinct. T-Rex is huge, a walking fortress of muscle and teeth, but it's also slow. Dakota Raptor is a feathered missile. It doesn't plan to fight the king head on, that would be suicide. Instead, it waits, it watches. It's a game of patience and opportunity. The T-Rex eats its fill, its belly full, its movements becoming sluggish. The tyrant turns its back for just a moment, distracted by a sound. That's the opening. In a blur of motion, the Dakotaraptor dashes in, not to attack the T-Rex, but to steal its meal. It grabs a massive chunk of flesh with its powerful jaws and retreats back into the shadows before the T-Rex can even register what happened. The king roars in fury, but the thief is already gone, vanishing into the dense undergrowth. Here's the twist. Scientists found evidence of this behavior. Fossils show Dakotoraptor and Tyrannosaurus living side. While the T-Rex was the apex predator, the Dakotoraptor was the ultimate opportunist. A kleptoparasite? A professional food thief? It didn't need to hunt when the king did all the work. It would shadow the giant, waiting for the perfect moment to snatch a free meal, risking death for a quick bite. Think about it. A ten-ton predator, the most feared carnivore on the planet, being outsmarted by a feathered phantom. The Dakotoraptor lived in the shadow of the tyrant, not in fear, but in anticipation. Every kill the T-Rex made was a potential dinner invitation for the raptor, a constant high-stakes battle of wits and speed. The king of the dinosaurs couldn't protect its own lunch from this lightning-fast thief. But stealing from a king was a dangerous game, and sometimes the thief didn't get away.